And so first I'm gonna give you a brief overview of uh, some of the features that are included with our distribution. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a library of 15 components uh, that are simple for content authors to, to add and easy for developers to customize. We've been constantly evolving this project now for um, around three years, and we really like the latest iteration um, because it adds an excellent implementation, in my opinion, um, of Layout Builder. And so I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But first, just let's just take a look at a, a few of the features on the homepage. So again, we've got that library of components. We've got the classic hero. We've got several card variations um, that are common in web design cards, cards lists. Um, we've got quotes and quote carousels. Um, there's another card variation. Uh, one of the things that we add um, that you see here is views integration. So views, very popular module in Drupal. Our distribution makes it easy to drop views onto the page. And Rain actually uh, ships with um, a few pre-configured views. And again, this is just a sample of the features that you get out of the box with Rain. And if you're interested, we actually now have a, um, a, an upstream on Pantheon. So if you want us to set up um, a sandbox for you to play around with it, we can do that. And that's something we can address during the Q&A um, as well. But next, uh, I want to show you, uh, let's see, the authoring experience. Okay. And uh, you know, I've been talking about Layout Builder, so let's take a look at Layout Builder. So now you've got this Layout tab, and it gives you the ab ability as an author to update the layout of the page using this tool. Now, the key thing with Layout Builder is that you get that instant preview of each block as soon as you add it to the page, and that's a real advantage. Um, now, of course, you can turn off content preview. This is helpful if you're like, need to move around blocks on the plate. Um, uh, move around blocks on the page. Um, but the live preview is significant because, again, it allows editors to instantly see the component rendered before you even save the page. Now, another thing that you can do with Layout Builder is add sections and have little layouts. Now, we just ship with a couple of the stock kind of layouts that come with, um, with the core module, but of course, these can be customized uh, per project. Um, but the big thing that we did with our implementation is uh, really improve the sidebar. So I'll show you that next. So this is where you get to see that those library of components. Um, they're easy to add to the page. And so I'm just going to do a quick example uh, using a card. So forgive me, I'm just going to put some test content in here. We've got a couple layouts um, left and right. On this website, we make the, just to add some visual interest, we put a black background if it's on the on the right. Um, let's start it off with just the left side. We'll add a media item from the library. Again, for expediency, expediency here, I'm just gonna add some test content. We'll get an idea what it looks like. So you add it and then of course you immediately get to preview it on the page. You haven't had to save anything. And then it's easy to change if you wanna make a change. So if we wanna take a look at it um, with the, the right orientation that's got the black background, we can do that, save that. And you know, do that to your heart's content. So again, 15 components um, out of the box that can be easily customized, you can add components, all that good stuff. Um, okay, next I want to show you our improved admin. So this is the latest admin that we shipped back in January. Um, we think it provides a cleaner, more organized UX for the editor. Um, let me give you, let's take a look at an article. So we, with Rain, we ship um, several uh, content types that are available and pre-configured. So article is one of those content types. And so this just gives you an idea of the interface. We think it looks a little bit cleaner. We did a lot of work on the sidebar in particular. And so uh, you can see we got the little collapsible sidebar. You got this um, sticky save button. And um, the thing that I really like here is this little jump nav. Makes it easy to uh, go between little sections of the page. So again, we just think it adds uh, more polish. Now, the next thing I want to show you 
is our style guide here. Okay, so <clears throat> brain ships with a pattern lab style guide. And this is the home for all of the components that exist within the rain based theme. Now, again, the beauty of this system is that it allows the developer to start with an organized library of components uh, that again can be customized and extended to be to meet the need of the project. And this saves development time because again we're not starting over from scratch on every single project. Now, just to show you a super basic idea of what this looks like uh, from a developer's perspective. So the, they'll have all of these different components um, and they can immediately jump in and start styling them um, to uh, match the designs that were delivered by the creative team. And so you can see how, because everything is already wired together, wired together that you can get from design uh, from that phase to actual working components very quickly. And again, the other reason why we like this approach, and I know I keep harping on this, but it allows developers to focus on the aspects of the project that are truly unique for that project. 